Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'll be showing you how to 3D track text in After Effects. And uh, yeah, let's hop straight into it. Opening up After Effects, I just have a clip from B Jersey's M's Freestyle video. And I kind of want text to pop up on this wall. So yeah, the first thing we have to do to 3D track this text is click on our clip and go to the tracker and hit track camera. Now we'll analyze the background. So now that our footage has been 3D tracked, you can see we have all these little points on our screen and you're just gonna wanna find some that where you want your text to go and points that are consistent uh, throughout the entire clip. Right here is pretty good. I'm gonna click on this and right click, create text and camera. And as you can see, some text has been created and it is now glued to that wall and 3D tracked. Next thing that I'm gonna do personally, but you don't have to do is I'm going to take a rotor brush of our subject just so the text is behind them in the scene. I'm gonna to go to our background layer and control D to duplicate. I'm going to double click on this, the top left and get our rotor brush tool. And now that I double clicked onto the layer, I'm just gonna drag this. The green means we are selecting. And if it accidentally selects parts that we don't want, I'm gonna hold alt and use the red to get rid of that. Now that I have my first frame pretty good, I'm gonna page down or frame forward and repeat this process for every frame. Make sure every frame is good. The very last frame, I'm gonna hit freeze and it's gonna lock in my rotor brush in place. So now you can see with the rotor brush, you can see that our subject is in front of the text and it looks like the text is actually on the wall. Now to customize this text, you're just gonna go to the text tool up here and you can double click, delete this and make it say whatever you want. So I'm gonna figure out what he says in the video and I'm gonna animate it to match the lyrics. So playing the audio, he says, they, he says they not getting paid. So I think that's what I'm gonna animate. So I'm gonna go to my text layer and select all of it, delete, type they not, Highlight all of this and make it smaller. I've got the text change and resize. I'm gonna go up here and get the rotation tool and I'm just gonna drag my text to where I want it and rotate it so it fits the scene. All right, so now I've got the text all adjusted and in the right spot. I'm just gonna animate it to line it up with the lyrics of the song and I grab the pen tool. I can go ahead and create a mask on the text. So the first is going to be they. And if I go down into my text and I go to my masks, I can see this mask one. And what you wanna do is go to the mask path and keyframe it here. So right here, you can see his mouth go they. So this is where we want it to start. I'm gonna go back one keyframe and the mask path, I'm just going to make it so there's nothing there. So right when he says they, it will pop up. Now I'm gonna to go to not right here, right before he says it, I'm gonna set a keyframe here. We go one frame forward and get the not in frame. So now it's they not hitting right here. I'm gonna go one frame before, set a keyframe on the mask path, one frame forward. And right here he says paid. So I'm going to go one frame before keyframe and get everything into frame. So now if we play it back, but what can they say? They're not getting paid. Yeah. But what can they say? They're not getting paid. Add one last little touch to this. We can go to our effects and presets and add a drop shadow to add some depth. So grab drop shadow and drag it onto our text. Now you can see we can mess around with the settings of the drop shadow to make it fit in with our scene. Maybe increase the distance a little bit. Guys, that's all there is to it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and sub. If you guys found this video helpful, you can click right here to see how to make a liquid explosion effect in After Effects, or you can click right here to see how to make some really smooth and clean paper transitions. Yeah, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Later.